this video we are going to discuss how to create s3 bucket using the cloud formation template so the best practice to create any object using the cloud formation template is to refer aws documentation so now in our case we are going to create s3 bucket so let us go to the uh, browser browser and let us uh, browse for aws s3 documentation and here very fast link we will get the aws documentation for the cloud formation template for creating the object of s3 bucket not this one the aws s3 documentation cloud formation i'm sorry we have to search for cloud formation documentation so when we search for the cloud formation documentation here the very first link so we have to search for the cloud we have forgot this word cloud formation so we have to use this word cloud formation documentation for which object s3 object so this is the link when you open the link here we can see all the uh, syntax they have provided in both json and yaml format to create the s3 bucket using the cloud formation template and these are all various properties that we can provide while creating this s3 bucket and if you see we can the explanation for each and every property is given here and this attribute is important required no means we don't have to supply value for this property while creating this object in the cloud formation template so if required yes means we have to supply mandatory value for this property so <coughs> here for this bucket almost all the properties are no which means we can create this object without supplying any properties and this uh, we can type we can uh, this is important because uh, we can refer uh, if the new properties got added so that is why it is always best practice to search for documentation so i have the uh, s3 template already ready with us so let me open that so if you see so this is the template now that i am going to use to create the s3 bucket so i am opening this template in a notepad plus plus if you see this is the under the resources section this is the logical name of the resource and this this is the type as uh, we see on the documentation if you see the documentation this is the type as mentioned so this should be same as given in the aws documentation and the properties as we have discussed there is no mandatory property for creating the s3 bucket so that is why uh, we have given <coughs> empty braces like this which means there are no properties we are not supplying any properties we are just creating the object of s3 bucket with this logical name so let us uh, upload this template and create the s3 bucket so for that we have to log into the management console this is my aws management console so we have to go to the cloud formation service if you don't find this service under this recently visited you can search here in the search box otherwise you can just go through this recently visited here we do currently we don't have any stacks so let us click on this create stack so the template is ready with us and we are going to upload this template and we i'm choosing the template that i have shown you just now this creating s3 bucket <coughs> i'm sorry excuse me <coughs> i'm sorry so the stack name i am giving the stack name as demo stack <coughs> demo hyphen s3 stack i am not sure if the hyphen is allowed or not let us check okay hyphen is allowed in the stack name click on next click on submit <coughs> so now we or creating the s3 bucket using the cloud formation template so here you can this is the stack demo s3 stack and this is the these are various tabs of the stack where we can check so under the events this is the we can check the progress of this uh, event so it is create in progress so resource creation initiated we have as we have initiated it is showing as user initiated so we can just refresh this and we can check so here the creation is complete 
but here still it is creating progress so we have to just wait for a few more seconds i think so let us go back and come again creating progress events create complete it is saying demo s3 stack this is the stack and this is the bucket <clears throat> that we have given the logical name of the bucket as we see in the template this is the name of the bucket so under the resources section here we can see the resource that got created through this template this is the logical id and this is the physical id if you click on the physical id it will just go and open the bucket which got created so this is the bucket <coughs> which got created through the cloud formation template if you see that bucket name it is the concatenation of the stack name so demo s3 stack is our stack name and hyphen this is the logical id of the bucket name and hyphen some random string so in this way the bucket was created now let us check see how to update the s3 bucket using the cloud formation template so before we update any resource using the cloud formation template the update happens in <clears throat> the update will be affected in three ways the one is with no interruption update with no interruption means the existing resource will not be disturbed update with some interruption means the existing resource uh, will be uh, modified or something like that for example if we if we launch an ec2 instance using cloud formation template and if we want to change the instance type from t2 macro to t2 nano or something like that <coughs> then the resource then the ec2 instance may be stopped stopped and then restarted again so this is update with some interruption <coughs> i'm sorry update with no interruption means if for example if we want to enable the configuration <coughs> i'm sorry versioning of the bucket then <coughs> i'm extremely sorry when we if we want to enable the versioning of the bucket <coughs> then we don't have any interruption <coughs> we will see that in this video we will update the bucket by enabling the versioning of the bucket <coughs> and update with the full interruption or the update <coughs> the existing resource will be completely replaced with the new resource <coughs> i am extremely sorry this the the bucket will be replaced with the new bucket so that uh, <clears throat> that we uh, for example if we want to change the bucket name then the existing bucket will be completely deleted and in that place a new bucket will be created so <clears throat> in this way the updates will happen so now in in our demo uh, we are going to enable the versioning of the bucket so i am opening the template <clears throat> through which we are want to enable the versioning so this is our bucket logical id of the bucket that we created in the just now and for this we uh, bucket we are uh, versioning configuration we are just enabling it <clears throat> so you can also go through the documentation here if you see this is the versioning so this is the property version configuration if you see version configuration enable multiple versions of all objects in this bucket so this will enable the versioning and this is not a mandatory property so we can <coughs> uh supply or not that is our wish but it is not mandatory and the type is a versioning configuration so if you open this link <coughs> then it will show how to provide versioning using the json or yaml format so here you can see the examples so <coughs> how we can enable versioning in both in json and yaml and <clears throat> if you see up, uh, update requires no interruption so it will not interrupt the existing bucket so the existing bucket won't be disturbed the just the versioning will be enabled that's it so before we <clears throat> update our template let us check the bucket so if you see the properties currently the bucket versioning is disabled now we will enable the versioning so let us go to the cloud formation template here we will click on update this stack <clears throat> the existing stack so we will replace the current template and we will upload the template file that we have uh, discussed just now this is the template file uh, i'm enable version to s3 bucket so i have just uploaded this template and click on next 
and click on next click on next uh, here if you see this is important this change set preview is important where we can see and review what are all the changes that are going to happen and what is the action this is going to modify uh, this bucket and what is this bucket this physical id it is showing this bucket and resource type is bucket replacement false which means that the existing bucket will not be disturbed so it, this is update with no interruption and <clears throat> here we are replacing the existing bucket no no here we are not replacing the existing bucket the replacement is false so click on submit now uh, we here we can see the progress here <coughs> in progress so once this updation is completed then here we should see that versioning should be enabled now currently it isn't disabled so let us just wait for some more time so now the update is complete which means that the versioning is enabled so if you see this if you go here and we just uh, uh, refresh this where is that refresh we don't have the explicit refresh button so let us so just refresh black like clicking on the browser refresh see now the bucket versioning is enabled so in this way <coughs> we can update the cloud formation template uh, using the cloud for we can update the s3 bucket using cloud formation template now let us uh, rename the bucket so we can also rename the bucket but as we discussed the renaming operation is uh, with interruption means the existing bucket <coughs> will be uh, replaced with the new bucket uh, new bucket so let us check the property here here if you see rename not rename name, a bucket name this is the bucket name here if you if you specify a name you can't perform updates that require replacement of the resource you can perform updates that require no or some interruption if you need to replace the resource specify a new name <clears throat> so see update requires is replacement if you see for the enabling of the versioning it is re uh, no interruption but for this is re replacement which means that the existing bucket will be replaced with a new bucket so <clears throat> as we have this template to rename the bucket i'm just opening it I'm editing with this so here we are giving just uh, to the same logical id we are giving give some random name this is the name we want to give now this will replace the existing bucket so let us check that feature now <clears throat> this is the same stack that we want to update click on update button click on replace current tail template here upload the template file we want to choose that file which through which we want to rename our bucket so click on next click on next <coughs> click on next so in the change preview set it is loading so if you see the replacement will be true which means the existing bucket will be replaced with the new bucket or the existing resource will be replaced with the new resource in generic terms like i am click on submit now the new bucket will be created in place of the existing bucket and the existing bucket will be deleted so update in progress resource creation initiated let, let us just wait for some time i'm just go on checking by clicking on this refresh button see update complete my s3 bucket this logical id with this update complete now let us wait delete complete see it has created the new bucket and it has deleted the existing bucket so this is the now the logical id of the stack is complete which means now if you see if you go to our s3 bucket this is the old bucket that got created uh, the very first template we are created this <coughs> bucket now if you refresh this i think we will not see this bucket as this got deleted see 
the bucket was not found because we have replaced the existing bucket through the <coughs> cloud formation template by creating the new bucket by replacing the by creating the renaming the bucket if we want to rename the existing old bucket will be deleted and we should be very careful because if the bucket contains any objects uh, this operation will not succeed so it will fail it will say that the bucket contains objects and you have to delete the objects first then only you can rename because <clears throat> when it tries to delete the bucket it cannot delete as the bucket contains objects so we can only rename for the empty buckets through the cloud formation template so now let us go to the buckets and see the new bucket uh, the new bucket see this is the new bucket give some random name a b c d x y z p q r s <clears throat> so this is the bucket that got created now if we upload any object to this bucket we cannot delete this through the we cannot delete the stack let us check that click on add files and just select this upload now we have uploaded one file in this bucket so we have one file in this bucket in the permissions in the properties versioning is disabled because the previous bucket got deleted and this was the new bucket which got created through the rename process and <clears throat> now if we if we try to delete the stack it will not get deleted let us check that because deleting the stack will delete the stack resources when it tries to delete the stack resource which is nothing but the s3 bucket it will fail because the bucket has an object in it that is why it will fail so see the delete failed because bucket you try to delete is not empty so that is why we cannot delete the stack uh, if the bucket has any resources so that is why just delete this bucket uh, resource and on this file and we will try so now we are have deleted this file just the permanently delete it is asking to type this word permanently delete delete objects <clears throat> now this has now we have deleted this object now let us try to delete again click on delete so it is saying that you may retain the resources that are failing to delete so it is saying that uh, if you want you uh, the stack will be deleted but the resource uh, that got created to the stack you can just retain it no we don't want to retain we don't we want to this resource also to be deleted so that is why we have checked that check box and click on delete button <clears throat> now this stack will be deleted and the resource in the stack which is nothing but the s3 bucket will also be deleted so delete complete now if you see the cloud formation stacks if you refresh no stacks and also we we don't see this bucket so if we refresh we will get an error because this got deleted so go to bucket still we are seeing this actually we should not see this go to buckets refresh the stack we have deleted the stack and the bucket that got created through that stack should also be deleted i'm not sure guys why this is happening but anyhow in this way uh, we can create an s3 bucket update s3 bucket using the cloud formation template you please try to uh, do this operation uh, try to delete the <coughs> stack and check if you are able to uh, see that bucket is also got deleted successfully or not thank you so much friends thank you